Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss a very important snowflake function, okay? And if you are working in data engineering domain, where in your big data ETL pipeline, you are using snowflake for computer storage purpose, then this particular function you can use with a certain application area, which can simplify lot of your process, okay? That's what I am going to discuss with application in this video. And that function is hash aggregate. Okay, so what is hash function? Let us just have a quick recall. So we might have studied hash function in our in our data structure algorithm course. Okay, where hash function basically maps input of arbitrary size to output of fixed size, right? Like just for example, I am having a value one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is my input. There can be another input one, some these values then. 5, 8, some value, okay, like that, different, different size input is there, and I am having a function, what the function does, if the input is x, what we are doing, we are taking the remainder after dividing by 10, okay, so if you take remainder from this particular value, after dividing by 10, the remainder will be nothing but 9, right, and similarly for this particular very big number also, if you apply this modulo 10 here also you are going to get one single value which is 6 okay so what i mean to say from this simple example is hash function is those kind of function which basically maps input of arbitrary size to output of fixed size see here input is this has 9 numbers and this has nearly 21 numbers here actually we are getting a single value at the output this is the beauty of hash function right now it is in behind different Algorithms like hash aggregate and all lot of advanced hash function concepts are used. I am not going to that much detailing part that how it is working in the back end, but rather we will be focusing more on application side. Okay, just to give you some idea related to hash function, I just shown this example and hash aggregate actually apply some kind of hash function only on different rows. Okay, so what it is, let us try to understand. So hash aggregate basically returns an aggregated signed 64 bit hash value over the set of input rows okay first point to be noted it is a aggregated value a single value it will be returning it is signed okay sometime it will be positive number sometime it will be negative number okay 64 bit value and that is hash value because after applying hashing concept we are getting that okay so it basically return whatever suppose you are putting two rows five rows 10 million rows does not matter if you pass via hash aggregate, it will return you a signed 64-bit value, okay? And that value is not order sensitive. What I mean is the order of the rows in the input table or query result on which you are applying your hash aggregate function, that does not influence, the order does not influence the result of hash aggregate, okay? If the row-wise ordering is changed, then also has aggregate that single value 64 bit value whatever it is returning that will be remaining same however changing the order in the input columns does change the result okay so in simple words you can remember like this way has aggregate is a function where you can pass a table or some rows query result set whatever it will be returning a single value that will be a signed value sometimes positive sometimes negative okay if you change the order of the rows in your input that will not impact in this output scalar value but if you uh, basically swap the columns then it will obviously impact our scalar output value okay so let us try to fill this concept first so what i have done here first i have created a ramu database and i am using the ramu database and then here i am creating a table with the name customer table hist ins here okay which is having product id retail price quantity city state etc information okay and here I am ingesting some dummy data in it using simple insert query. Okay. Now, if I do select star from this, here we are getting seven records, whatever we have inserted. Perfect, right? Now, if I want to get single hash value for this whole table, I will just apply hash aggregate of star on this particular table. Okay. And let's execute that. And here we are getting a negative value, right? In the experience itself, I have told you, right, that it is a sign value. So, this thing we are getting negative, sometimes we can get positive also, that depends on our actual input, okay. So, from this particular simple experiment, we have got a clear idea 
that has a green egg does not matter whatever your input size is any input of arbitrary size it will map to one single hash value in output okay now this is what input we have seen now let's do one thing let's basically jumble some rows in another table okay so here i am creating another table with same structure but here i am giving the name replica2 at the end and then let's execute that and here you will see that here in the insert query the order of rows i changed little bit okay so let me show you the older one here you see the last row was 6 and 7 starting from 6 and 7 right but here last rows are basically as you can see 2 and 6 okay some of the rows i have changed but actually the total overall content is same that is overall content in this particular table whatever we are going to insert and in our original table is basically same just we jumbled the rows order okay but column order is same okay so let's execute that and then if i do this particular select star we will be getting the content of this particular table okay now as per this particular concept what i have discussed just now that order of the rows does not matter let's see that whether hash aggregate value on this particular table and our earlier table is same or not let us try to visualize okay so select has aggregate star from this particular new table okay let's execute that and see we are getting this particular value okay earlier what we were getting earlier we were getting this particular value right i will copy this one and then here i will paste that here okay for easy of comparison let me paste both of them in notepad here okay and if i just select this one see if i just do search and then here find i will just paste this one find next see this one is coming these are exact same right that's the beauty of hash function if the row is getting jumbled in two different tables or two different query result set then also hash aggregate will basically give you the same outcome it will not change okay however if you jumble the column order then it will be changing okay so the same stuff currently i am doing product id retail price quantity state and then city so last two columns i have interchanged okay so here as you can see second last was city and last was state here in this case second last is state and next one is city okay and as per that i have reordered the insert query also so here i will execute this one and then here i will execute the insert query and then here i will execute select star on this particular table here you will see it is giving some different as well minus 8 4 something okay and earlier it was coming like minus 3 4 something right if you see here it was coming like minus 3 6 something for both earlier case right but now this time because column order we have changed it is coming minus 8 4 something like that okay so one concept we have got a clear idea that hash aggregate will give the same outcome for our query uh, on 12 query table or result set if the row orders is jumbled then also it will give same result but if column orders are changed then it will give different result okay now the question comes in a pipeline where we can use this particular concept okay that is more important from concept wise okay application right so hash aggregate compute a fingerprint okay a unique identifier single scalar value over an entire table or query result or even on window okay right and that hash aggregate you can basically use to compare whether two different tables have same data or data got changed in between them okay that's what is written here any change to the input will reflect the result of hash aggregate in a overwhelming probability okay and this can be used to quickly detect changes to table content or query result okay because hash aggregate will be same if row order changed but it will change as soon as any record got changed in between two tables so hash aggregate a single scalar value we can utilize to understand or to quickly check whether two tables have different content or not okay and that is many time useful in our big data pipeline okay so just to show you one example here let us try to create one table which is having the name replica 4 and let's just insert three records in it okay and i am creating another table with replica 5 at at n and then here i am inserting some data okay so currently i am inserting same data only 
both are having same record okay now suppose i need to understand whether this table and this table has any data difference or not all i will do i will execute this simple query okay select has aggregate of star from this replica four table whether that is equal to select has aggregate of star from replica five table okay so currently because they are having same kind of data if i execute that it will be giving true okay now let's change little bit in our this table so i will execute create or replace again and instead of ca maybe i will be writing cm okay one single cell just i am changing i am inserting the data and then here if i am executing that here we are getting false that means those two tables have different data. okay so kind of has aggregate function acting like fingerprint it will be only same if two tables have same content okay it will obviously differ if there is any change in between two different tables okay column wise swapping also it will catch row wise swapping that's fine right because if two tables have same records but in jumbled format with respect to row that is fine for us right so to compare quickly check whether two tables have different records or not we can use has aggregate function okay and to explore more about this particular function in detail obviously you can check the documentation here beautifully you can get more details about this particular one okay i hope you enjoyed this particular session if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you